what's going on guys in this video we're gonna talk about CEI once again that's Cumber Energy Incorporated with a ticker symbol CEI guys if you like the information and analysis that I'm providing in this video please hit the like and subscribe button let's get going so CEI by the time of this recording closed at a price of 87 cents it's up 5.58 percent and it's also up in the after hours for at 4.02 percent that's at the price of 0 0.9050 now if you go to fintel.io you can clearly see that the short interest is 9.85 percent off exchange short volume ratio of 22,578,819 shares off exchange short volume ratio of 51.82 percent now if you go to market bit you can also see that the stock is up 10.15 percent in a five-day performance in a one-month performance it's down 18.69 percent but in a three-month performance it's up 12.75 percent and a one-year performance of 2.35 percent so guys this stock is uh, an energy play uh, some of you guys uh, like energy plays and uh, in situations like this where we have a tension between ukraine and russia uh you know uh energy plays you know uh oil plays is pretty pretty popular as you can see in uh in reddit people is also talking about this stock the you know this stock also have a lot of support from reddit users even if you go to twitter people are also talking about this stock so guys like i said the uh, people are talking about this stock in uh, reddit uh, shout out to this user uh daryl uh, jeans uh, 65 uh, he uh, posted this uh this uh form 10 qa from uh from a viking energy group so people are also waiting about the filings of viking energy group uh, because the viking is is uh, related to uh, cei okay so in this filing they stated that uh, as of november 5 2021 so this is just a uh, form tqa so if you don't know what form t form uh, 10 qa uh, we will check that later in sec okay so it says here that as of november 5th 2021 the registrant had 101,971,563 shares okay so shout out to this guy for uh, giving that okay so uh, let's try to check and see what exactly is a form TQA uh, so if you come here in the uh, SEC website right so SEC website right there you scroll down you can actually click here it says how to read a 10k and a 10q okay so it says here how to read a 10k and a 10q if you want to follow or invest in a u.s publicly company public company you can find a wealth of information in the company's annual reports on form 10k and quarterly reports on form 10q among other things the 10k and 10q offer a detailed picture of a company's business the risks it faces and the operating and financial results for the fiscal year or quarter so you can also see that in the form 10q as applicable company management also discusses its perspective on the business results and what is driving them so there you go guys so that is from biking so guys you might ask how is biking related to a cei so this is actually a press release that you can find in the cei website it tells you that uh, uh biking are pleased so Viking Energy Group are pleased to announce that the parties have entered into a definitive, definitive agreement and plan of merger dated as of February 15, 2021 regarding the full combination of the entities, also called as merger. Cumber Energy owns 62% of Vikings issued and outstanding common shares. So technically, guys, if you go back to this uh, filing, right, Form 10Q, so CEI owns this uh, shares, amount of shares. Where is that? Okay, I just read earlier. Here you go, 101,971,563 shares, okay? Um, and, and the merger agreement contemplates through a reverse triangular merger structure, Camber issuing newly issued shares of common stock in exchange for the Vikings of, of Vikings common stock for one-to-one -one basis, one-for-one -one basis. For example, if Viking shareholder owns 100 shares of common stock of Viking immediately prior to closing of the merger, the shareholder would receive 100 shares of common stock of Cumber on closing of the merger. Wow. So that's a very interesting, uh, very in interesting press release. I think not a lot of people know that. So that's good to know. So guys, this information is a public information. You can actually uh, go to the CEI website and access this information, okay? This is not FUD, okay? I'm not uh, giving you false information, okay? But like I said, it's good to know uh, about this stock. Before you guys go and jump into a stock, you have to read it, okay? You have to go and research it. And that is my job for you guys. I can go and check it for you. Just put them in the comment section below. I'll definitely answer your questions regarding this stock, okay? So uh, 
one more uh, i have uh, one more article here for you guys uh so uh so guys one more article uh, cumber energy remains a promising way to play the way to play the rise of clean energy so guys this article is written in nasdaq okay it's uh date is uh it's dated april 5 2022 so it says here back in march a spi spike in crude oil prices led to rise in prices for small cap and gas stocks like cumber energy okay so the i mean uh guys when i see uh, when i've seen a uh, cei price uh, uh you know skyrocket uh previously uh i think this is the main reason why because of the biking deal okay anyway as you may recall shares of cumber energy sprang back to life early last month as the economic sanctions resulting from Russia's invasion of Ukraine sent crude oil prices soaring. Traders jump into small cap oil and gas stocks. So apparently some people don't know uh, why are they investing in CEI. They, uh, but uh, on the other hand, they also don't know about the uh, CEI and, uh, and the Viking uh, agreement, right? So anyway, this resulted in this stock to soar from around 64 cents per share from March 1st to nearly $2 per, cent, uh, per share on March 8th. However, this mad dash back into small energy stocks uh, stocks didn't long didn't last long. So crude oil prices have pulled back there again below one hundred dollars per barrel. In turn, enthusiasm for this and other oil related penny stocks has cooled off. Okay, but guys, I think once the uh, the uh, the Viking and the CEI will be able to reflect all this information in the su subsequent ten Qs. I think personally speaking, I think CEI will skyrocket as well. Okay so cumber's latest deal and possibility for more deals so they have actually have deals already so if you come back with this article cei stock at a glance if you have just cursory knowledge about camber you may think of it as an independent and oil and gas exploration so that that's why i thought first admittedly uh, up until 2021 that's largely what it was it was through its majority owned subsidiary viking energy group it has ownership in a portfolio of oil and gas properties but since last year stock cei stock has become more of a green wave play in past in the past coverage the, the, i've talked about two deals the company uh, also known as viking has made that it had given high exposure to the move from fossil to renewable flu fuel so guys uh so we all know that uh the biden government is also working in renewable energy renewable fuels they want to move away from fossil fuels so cei is the place so this is the place i really like okay so uh, like i said uh, even if you go to my past videos i uh want to go on a play on uh first uh i want to go on the ev ev place ev is the future crypto is the future renewable energy is the future so deal one was its purchase of canadian industrial engine power generation products company simpson maxwell limited deal two was its what was its deal to buy a renewable diesel diesel plant project in reno nevada okay so those are the deals and cumber's latest deal and the possibility for more deals on february 15 the company announced through viking that it has acquired majority interest in two entities that holds the rights into to to market an electric transmission open conductor detection system in other words a product that ha that can break into a power line cutting off power to the line before it hits the ground okay so cumber energy as you can see it has uh it, it it came into uh, an agreement with uh, Simpson Maxwell and one more. Uh, it, it it says here it's deal to buy a renewable decent plant project in Reno, Nevada. So and there's more possibilities coming in this security in this certain opportunity. So guys, I think this is an opportunity. Uh, like I said, uh, CEI is into renewable energy, clean energy, and this is the kind of place that I think has a lot of growth and opportunity in the future. So guys, for those who are new in the channel, uh, once again, my name is Don Leo, Don Leo Trades, okay, that's the name of my channel, okay, so I like doing technical analysis for each stock that I cover, okay, so now, uh, so this time, uh, we will do CEI, CEI, you guys, so um, this is the daily time frame, okay, so as you can see here, guys, we have made a support, okay, in uh, this area around 0 0.6954, this is your first support if you go to your daily time frame, okay, so, uh, your daily time frame your resistance in their daily time frame is 0 0.9801 around that area as you can see clearly here in this graph in this uh, chart the stock is on an upward momentum okay your rsi is 54.04 okay so we have a lot of room to the upside your in your stochastics it is very very clear that it has a lot of room to grow it is in an upside swing if, even if you extend that in the after hours okay um in your uh, four hour time frame here you go guys there is one huge green candle that appeared 
in your four hour time frame okay so uh, so this is your four hour time frame that's your resistance in your four hour time frame but still like i said there's another support here around 0 0.81 okay there you go guys that's your support uh now you can clear you can also clearly see here that your vwap is very very strong okay so this is your uh, 200 uh, ema your vwap is ready to cross your 200 EMA. So that's from the last trading period. If you go to your 15 minutes time frame, this stock is very, very bullish. It looks to me that uh, your, uh, yep. So as you can see here, okay, it is in a bullish upward trend. Okay, so each of all of those indicators is right above your 200 EMA. Okay, so it, uh, what I'm saying guys is uh, clearly you can see here that your stock is very, very bullish. Okay, so here is your 50 EMA. Here is your 90 EMA and here is your view up. Everything is right above your 200 EMA. So most of the time, okay, if a stock is right above the 200 EMA, okay, it would respect the 200 EMA and it will act as your support. You can see that here very, very clear in this uh, chart, okay? As soon as it goes around your 200 EMA, boom, it bounces, okay? So let's see if that works in a one hour time frame. Okay, so in your one hour time frame here, you can also see that your stock CEI has crossed Okay, uh, your uh, your 90 EMA and your VWAP has crossed your 200 EMA. So I assume that your 50 EMA is ready to cross that. So currently, CEI, uh, personally speaking, is uh, in a bullish upward trend in in uh, the uh, in the the current time frame, guys. So if it does that, okay, as soon as if you go to the previous charts, if it does that, okay, it has a huge upward swing, okay, it goes to the upside momentum, and also people are waiting, okay, so the the Viking, okay, the the, the closing deal with Viking, as soon as the filing of Viking slow, uh, goes uh, into uh, CI after the merger, I think this will this stock will do very very well, guys. So um, I think that's it for me for today in this video. Once again, if you like and if you like the information and analysis that I'm providing you in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Once again, this is your boy, Don Leo Trades. I love you all. Peace out.